I understand the next Financial Review members wish to debate is the Financial Review of the Crown Law Office. The question is that the report of the Justice and Electoral Committee on the 2012 Financial Review of the Crown Law Office be noted. No speakers? The question is that the report of the the report of the Justice and Electoral Committee on the 2012-13 Financial Review of the Crown Law Office be noted. Those of that opinion will say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. The ayes have it. I understand members wish to debate the report of the, of the Maori Affairs Committee on the non-departmental appropriations for vote Maori Affairs. The question of, of treaty, vote for treaty negotiations. The question is that the report of the Maori Affairs Committee on the 2012-13 non-departmental appropriations for vote treaty negotiations be noted. Mr. Chairman. Uh, the Honourable Christopher Finlinson. This is such a, an important area, Mr Chairman, I thought a brief statement by me on where we're at and how we're going is appropriate and I'm disappointed that the Labour Party haven't chosen to, uh, to speak about this area because it is so critically important. I'm very proud of the Office of Treaty Settlements uh, and the outstanding work which has been done by that very dedicated band of highly qualified and utterly professional civil servants. Uh, they are a, an outstanding bunch of people ably assisted by some excellent Crown negotiators. And the Crown negotiators who number among them people like uh, the Honourable Paul Swain, the former Labour MP for Rimataka, who is the chair of the Crown Negotiators, uh, do a wonderful job indeed. There's the former Labour Member of Parliament for Tuki Tuki, Rick Barker, who's been doing some tremendous work for me up in Taranaki. There's, Sir, there's John Wood, uh, a former twice appointed New Zealand Ambassador to Washington, who was responsible for negotiating the great and historical settlement with Naituhoi uh, and also has been doing some tremendous work on the Wanganui River. So there are some really fine people who have been working with the Office of Treaty Settlements and the reality is that they have made excellent progress uh, in the last few years. I, am, I was so proud uh, to be with some of my parliamentary colleagues uh, signing a deed of settlement with Ngāti Kuri. Uh, and I want also to mention Pat Snedden, who did some wonderful work with the Tahiku Iwi. I wondered whether we would ever get to the stage where we signed uh, deeds of settlement in the far north, uh, but we did. Uh, four of the five Tahiku Iwi have now signed deeds of settlement, uh, and uh, I believe, Mr uh, Chairman, that those iwi and that area will go from strength to strength. As we come down the country, uh, I of course have to mention the work that has been done by the Office of Treaty Settlements on the Ngāpui mandate. That really has been something in the nature of a Homeric epic, uh, and I delivered to both factions uh, a couple of weeks ago uh, the decision that we had made on the mandate, and I really do endorse uh, what the Honourable Shane Jones has been uh, saying in public, that now is the time for the Ngāpui factions to come together for the negotiation, to see what they can do to get a good settlement, because one reads uh, in the Herald, for example, stories about the uh, the, the economic suffering in places like Kaikoui, now is the time to negotiate a settlement so that those sorts of communities in the north can benefit uh, economically and also socially. And they should talk to their, their uh, whanau in the Tahiku iwi because they can see what can be achieved when you work together for a common aim. I'm very pleased with what's being done in uh, Tāmaki and Hauraki. They are very complex negotiations. Of course, the House will soon be 
debating the Tāmaki Collective legislation, but Michael Drever, an outstanding uh, treaty negotiator, has been doing great work in Tāmaki and down into Hauraki, and I hope uh, before the end of the year that we will have uh, deeds of settlement with the at least 11 of the 12 Hauraki iwi, as well as two settlements with the Maratuahu Collective uh, and with the Hauraki Collective. I'm so very pleased with the work that has been done in Taranaki. Again, I've referred to the work of Rick Barker and Paul Swain. This really is bipartisan uh, work. Uh, I have uh, got those guys involved since I've left Parliament, and I've done a great job uh, working with Te Atiawa, Nauru, Hine and Taranaki. Uh, when those deeds are signed, that will leave Ngāti Maru uh, and the collective settlement um, for uh, that province, and, and that really is good. Down the east coast, I know the member for Ikaroa Rafati will have more than a passing interest. Uh, great work is being done uh, with discussions with Tatira, with Heto Takatini in, in Hastings, uh, with uh, Rangatane Ki Wairarapa and Naunati Kahanunu Ki Wairarapa. So there's a lot of work going, going down there. Uh, and I would hope in the very near future that we're going to have uh, some full and final settlements. So this is very important work. We know that we're not dealing with uh, full compensation, but uh, treaty settlements are more than about money. They do provide iwi with a strong economic base, uh, but importantly, they deal with acknowledging... Mr Chairman? Uh, the Honourable Christopher They deal Thompson. with acknowledging the historical wrongs, making that apology, and importantly, as we see, for example, with Ngāti Whori, uh, we deal with social accords as well. And so a town that really was the victim uh, of the 1980s extremist policies of the Labour government, a town called Minganui, a town uh, that suffered greatly, and I, it always amuses me to hear the Labour Party talk about poverty when for nine years they did nothing about Minganui. I'm on a steering group with the Mayor of Whakatane and numerous others dealing I'm with sorry the issues to interrupt of the Honourable Minister, the time has come for me to leave the chair for the dinner break. This debate is interrupted. I shall resume the chair at 7.30. Without me.